Good. All right. Oh, what's happening, YouTube? Once again, emo. Rock Auto. I ain't ordering from no more. Second time. I didn't get some bad from. I'm gonna show y'all this. Remember on the one video I showed y'all where the uh, the ABS dunk was loose. Well, guess what? This is fresh out the pack, and look, I'm taking stuff off like this already. That's supposed to happen. Um, this one's okay, besides this daggone lug that's kind of crooked, if you can tell it's crooked. I might tap that in the back, and it might go on there. That one's okay, but this one, looks like we're gonna be sending it back, I guess. We'll put it on without this ring. And just don't worry about the ABS on the pressure and shit. But the lugs are pressed in on this one. Yeah. We're gonna try it out and see what it do. If they fail again, I'll be contacting Rock Auto once again. Rock Auto. And telling them that they sent me some bad stuff again. Because I thought I had a problem with this truck. Oh, crap. Just like this one. Just, just sitting on there. Once again. And I need I need a jack too, because, uh, my jack is trash. It goes up about three inches and stops. Which is not good because, you know, I got a full size truck here. And this is a three ton, well, two and a half ton. Well, no, jack says three ton SUV jack. I don't see it on it, but I got the cover in the, in the two box. But it's a three ton SUV jack, but it only lifts three inches. What kind of crap is that? Do you see how far my truck needs to go up? You know, more than three inches, especially for these tires to come off the ground. I need at least 20 inches up, but you can't even do that. So maybe if I use my low profile jack, it might work. Did I mention we have a new car now? The escape is gone because we had to get an engine replacement and there's a lot of stuff going on that I'm not gonna explain, but this is a new car. Is a 2018 Toyota Camry that I have never even popped the hood on, but I just love the seats on it. The seats are nice. Let me pop the hood because I've never done it on this car to look and look what the engine looks like. And here we go. Look how clean that engine is. Very clean. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out this intake. Put that little short ram intake on there so it looks all sporty. But that's real clean though. I hate to change it, but I gotta get some kind of performance out of this thing. A little force in um, I'm gonna have to you know run the power wire to the back and stuff. Cause, you know, a system is going in. It's just one of the 12 though. Uh, I might cover this like I did the Altima. The Altima had the 
purple and white splash on it, but this is soft, so I don't know if I want to touch it for real. I might leave it, just leave it alone. Just do the intake and be done with it. It's very clean on here. It's a nice car. I already got tinted windows. It looks like about maybe 20%. Needs a wash, but still clean. Little dual two pipe right there. Might get some uh, different tip covers. You know they can. You change the tips. Might put the burnt tips on there. I already got one. I just gotta get another. One. Get it off my other exhaust. And the GS hood still down. Still haven't bought. Um, the wire harness for it, so it just been sitting collecting uh, dust. Mm -hmm. Collecting dust, and I finally got to uh, put the, the coils on the back. Now she's tucking, can't even put my hand on it no more. Yeah, but it's gonna change probably when I get the same size tires as the front. Them, uh, 195.50s up front, and these still 195.60s right here. Well, 65, I mean. So they're still fat, but they dry right as hell. You can see all the. I don't know if you can see them here, but yeah, you can see it right there. All the cracks in the tire don't look too good. Yeah. So I can't see it now, but all them cracks in the tire. Gotta go. Yeah, I think I still need to check on my brakes because when I drove it home, it was shooting out brake fluid. But I don't know if we're from, I never looked at it yet. Um, I need to find my forks, my uh, lift forks, or lowering forks. And I need to lower the front, just like the back. Because right now, I feel a little rake. Just wide in the back. Yeah, I don't know what I do with them though. Okay, that's all I have for y'all today. Problems again. One day they're gonna stop. But for now, I'm gonna change these suckers out. If I can get it jacked up with my low profile jack, and go from there. See y'all in the next one, and that's a wrap.